Everything Dinosaur, in collaboration with our chums, a collector, have made another new for 2022 model announcement. It's a new species for collector and a chance for their design team to make an interpretation based on the very latest scientific information. Stick around, we'll tell you more. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here, and in today's video, we'll be introducing the latest New for 2022 collector prehistoric animal model to be announced. It's a dinosaur, a genus that the design team at Collector have been wanting to do for some time. Now, despite all the problems with manufacturing and model making caused by the global pandemic, the design team at Collector have done their utmost to get this model available to you for 2022. Our congratulations to them for doing it. So, after the obligatory reminder about subscribing, we'll crack on. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. The new for 2022 Collector Deluxe at Montosaurus incorporates some of the latest scientific research into this iconic dinosaur genus. Arguably one of the most successful large terrestrial herbivores that has ever lived. For example, the model sports a brightly coloured crest on the top of its head. In 2015, a scientific paper published in the journal Current Biology announced that evidence for a soft tissue crest had been found following extensive research into a mummified specimen of the species Edmontosaurus regalis, discovered in west-central Alberta. The specimen, referred to as UALVP53722, revealed the presence of a soft tissue crest, preserved three-dimensionally, measuring around 20 centimetres high and around 33 centimetres in length. It has been postulated that this crest, which was rather like the comb seen on a cockerel, was used for visual display, or perhaps to tell males from females, or maybe to signal the animal's maturity. The design team at Collector have given their model a colourful red crest, reflecting this discovery. As far as we at Everything Dinosaur are aware, no evidence for a soft tissue crest has been found in the geologically younger Edmontosaurus anectens. Perhaps only Edmontosaurus regalis possessed this display structure. In the past, the focus was very much on excavating and preserving skull bones. Soft tissue structures associated with the skull could have been overlooked and destroyed in the preparation process. Several mummified Edmontosaurus anecton specimens are known. Maybe evidence for a comb-like headcrest will be found in the species too. Intriguingly, when preserved skin impressions of Edmontosaurus regalis and Edmontosaurus anectens are compared, several differences in the pattern of scales, their size and their distribution have been identified. The Collector Deluxe Wonderfordy Scale Montosaurus has large oval shaped scales on its neck. These raised oval shaped scales are very prominent and once again reflect what paleontologists have found when studying Edmontosaurus regalis. When skin impressions of the neck and throat area of Edmontosaurus anectens are examined, they exhibit a different scale pattern. We congratulate the design team at Collector for reproducing scales and skin texture on their replica that mirrors fossil evidence. The dark stripes that can be seen on the flanks and the tail also reflect, in part, what has been postulated by scientists. 
analysis of scales preserved on the tail of perhaps the most remarkable dinosaur fossil ever found, the famous mummified Edmontosaurus anectens, nicknamed Dakota, indicate that this dinosaur had dark stripes running down its broad, deep tail. More about Dakota in a moment, but first the model measurements. The Collector Deluxe Edmontosaurus measures an impressive 34 centimetres long, and the figure stands some 12.5 centimetres high at the hips. It has a declared scale of 1 to 40. Now back to the famous dinosaur mummy, Dakota. The first point to make when it comes to a discussion about dinosaur mummified remains is that the fossils are nothing like the mummies you might associate with ancient Egypt or other cultures for that matter. In this case, the dinosaur's soft tissues were prevented from decay as the corpse was buried rapidly and covered by fine grain sediments. A lack of oxygen stopped microbial activity and the fossil material became sealed in a mineral cast. The soft tissues reacted with the minerals in the sediment and they formed a kind of protective seal around parts of the fossil, leading to this remarkable state of preservation. The tissue has still been permineralized and turned to stone. The preservation is so complete that remarkably, researchers have been able to identify tiny traces of amino acids that made up proteins in Dakota's skin. In late 2019, researchers from the North Dakota Geological Survey's Paleontological Resource Protection Program tweeted an image of Dakota's beautifully preserved right hand. A hoof-like nail could clearly be seen on the third finger. There is no first digit. Edmontosaurus lacked a thumb. Much of the hand is encased in what has been referred to as a mitten of skin. This dinosaur could not move all its fingers independently. As well as the very large third finger with its hoof, the fourth digit is encased in this mitten too, and it has no claw. The fifth digit, the little finger of the Edmontosaurus, also lacks a claw and is almost vestigial. Scientific papers on hand anatomy, as revealed by the remarkable Dakota specimen, have yet to be published. It may be on display at the North Dakota Heritage Center and State Museum, but the research into this incredible fossil continues, and collector have used this evidence to provide their Edmontosaurus replica with a prominent hoof on its hand, and they've sculpted the fingers to replicate what Dakota has revealed. Our congratulations to the design team at Collector. This is a remarkable dinosaur model that reflects the evidence as provided by a remarkable dinosaur fossil. So far, Weird Everything Dinosaur have announced a total of six new for 2022 Collector prehistoric animal figures. Now they're all scheduled to be in stock early in 2022. How early, we can't say at this moment. Global logistics has been wrecked by the pandemic. However, we promise to keep model collectors and dinosaur fans informed via our social media pages. With the introduction of the Collector Deluxe 1 to 40 scale Edmontosaurus, that's two late Cretaceous hadrosaurs that feature in the Collector Deluxe series. The other one being the 1 to 40 scale Parasaurolophus, which was introduced in 2013. It could be said that the late Cretaceous hadrosaurs are somewhat underrepresented in the Collector Deluxe series, which brings us to this, our question of the day. What other late Cretaceous duct-billed dinosaur 
would you like Collector to add to their Collector Deluxe series? Would you like a Lampiosaurus? Or perhaps a Russian or a Titan would be okay. Or maybe you'd like Collector to get to grips with a Griposaurus. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below and we'll feed back this information to our chums at Collector. That's our lowdown on the Collector Deluxe Edmontosaurus. We'll post up a fourth video, a final video in this series, in about a week's time, providing you with exclusive information on the last New for 2022 Collector model to be announced. We will be making new figure announcements over the next few weeks and we recommend that you check out Everything Dinosaur on social media so that you can be kept up to date with all the new model introductions. In the meantime, we'll put up links to the Collector Prehistoric Life and the Collector Deluxe sections of the Everything Dinosaur website in the video description down below. So you can take a look at these ranges and perhaps pick up a model or two. We'll also put a link in the video description below to our recent blog post providing more details on the new Edmontosaurus figure. The Everything Dinosaur blog is jam-packed full of articles and features all about dinosaurs, model collecting, fossil finds and paleontology. We heartily recommend it to you. So, we hope you've enjoyed this short video. Please remember to subscribe to Everything Dinosaur if you've not done so already. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you.